Hello and welcome to this cozy study corner. Today I'm going to be telling you everything that I like to do to study for my exams, to pass them, to get good grades. This is everything that I like to do. And just so you know, this is a little bit orientated for university students because it's about my experience the last couple of years. The first tip that I'm going to give you, and I think that I say this in every video that I have, it's to keep everything organized. And the, the best thing to do when you are going to go to an exam, it's first knowing everything that is going to go to your exam, making a list of everything that you need to be studying. And then next to each one, I'm going to write understood and practice. If I already understood one, what I need to be doing with that, I'm going to highlight it, but I still need to practice it because I might understand it, but maybe there are some scenarios that I don't know yet. So I wouldn't know until I start practicing. So after I feel that I had already practiced and it's enough, I'm going to highlight it and continue to the next thing on my list. The next tip that I would give you is to do a summary of everything that is in your subject. Of course, you don't need to write everything down. It's the most important things, the equations and things that you know you're going to need. That way you're going to have it on hand and it's and make sure that it's also the most important things. So, for example, when you are starting to do your exercises, you already know the theory and know how to apply it because If you start doing the practice before studying a little bit at least of the theory, you are not going to understand or maybe you are going to do a little mistake that you are not even going to be aware of and then you're going to make the same mistakes on your exams and that's not the idea. The next tip is very useful and it's not even a tip. I think that it's very important that when you are in your classes first, you interact in your classes that way your professors I don't know. I know that I am privileged in the sense that some uh, usually my classes are very small, my professors are very personal to us, so I can talk very naturally with my professors, ask them doubts and things like that. But even if that's not your case, I will highly recommend you to speak in your classes. And I know this is not about studying, but the next thing that I'm going to say right now, it is. So in your classes, when you are speaking with your professors and you are interacting in your class, ask them what it's the most important thing that's going to go to your exam. And maybe sometimes your professors already are going to tell you how it's the structure of the exam, but if they don't, you maybe can ask them if they are not too picky with that. I know there are a lot of professors that don't like to talk about their exams and how it's going to be, but that's something that I always ask when I start a, a new subject. Maybe if the professor is not telling me, I can ask some older students that had already seen the subject with that professor, but if they don't remember, or maybe if they, he changed it, very often you can ask them if they are comfortable with that the next thing that i'm going to tell you it's a tip and it's the moment that you start a new subject ask for what books you are going to be using as for guides and if your professors don't provide you with exercises then ask older students that had already seen this subject what they study with and if they can lend you guides and that and exercises and that kind of stuff because you go really going to need it now if you already study about the theory and you know what you need to be doing in the exercises then it's time to start applying it and what i would highly recommend you to do is looking for the examples on your book and it's better if it has the step by step what i like to do is start doing it how i think it would be and then i would if i finish it i would check if i did it right If I get stuck, then I would go to the step by step and, and see if I am doing something wrong. And this way you are going to not just be able to see if you get to the right answer, but you also see if you are doing the right procedure because that, that it's also very important. 
Now that we are talking about the exercises, I know that I told you to look for guides, maybe exams and things from past semesters. But if your professors tell you that a book is everything that you're going to need, maybe try to use it. Look for all the exercises that are on that book and look for the answers. They are usually on the last page, the answer of these. But maybe if you are not... Uh, sure or maybe it's if it's not the same answer of you of yours you can look on the internet for the for the book that you are using the solutionary i don't know if i said that right but yeah you can look for the solutions of every book that you are studying with now let's talk about these subjects where you actually need to be memorizing stuff and what i like to do with that kind of subject is to read my lectures books and things that i would need and try to understand it sometimes i'm not in the mood so i need to reread it some couple of times until i start understanding what it's been talking about so after i understand what it's been saying I try to set it with my own words. I would be doing it out loud, that way I can hear myself and see if I am actually making some sense. After I say everything with my own words, I would try to explain it like to myself and say like questions to myself and things like that. After I already know and I can analyze it, what I need to really do is actually memorize the stuff that I am saying and for that I am going to write down everything that I remember that I said. I am going to do this a couple of times until the most important information is actually stuck in my brain. Now the last thing that I would highly recommend you to do is to organize yourself for your next exams and what I mean by this is that you don't need to study everything that i already told you in this video in just one day you can divide it and you can organize your week or even your month and, or however long you want to study that subject or that, that exam it, it depends on how long it's the subject and topics and things like that but organize yourself and that way you are not going to have anxiety when you are near to your exam because you know that you have put all your effort on it and that you are going to ace it. Also, another tip, it would be to have confidence on yourself because sometimes we go to exams and we just get stuck in things that we know because we're too nervous. So this is everything that I do to prepare for my exams. I hope that it was helpful for you. And if it is, don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe watch another of my videos. Bye.